Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. As per latest reports, the Indian Air Force has finalized the air staff quality requirements for the MMRCA fighter jet program, and has moved the file for getting the acceptance of necessity from the Ministry of Defense. The Indian Air Force expects that the expression of interest can be issued by the second quarter of 2019, and the request for proposal by the last quarter of this year. According to top experts, the main competition in the aircraft tender is between the Rafale aircraft Boeing's F-A-18 and the Saab Gripen, even though a total of seven aircraft are in the competition for the $20 billion deal. The Rafale is highly priced, but as the one-time payment for the India-specific enhancements has already been made, so any future Rafale fighter jet sport will be cheaper. The Gripen was the front-runner in the previous proposal to buy a single-engine fighter, but keeping in view that the indigenous light combat aircraft is already in the making, the government opened the contract to both single- and twin-engine fighter jets. Boeing's FA-18 is also in the race for a naval project, and if the decision is made to purchase an American fighter jet, then it would be the FA-18, and not the rebranded F-16 with a few additional features. As far as the two Russian aircraft offered to India are concerned, the issues include lower serviceability ratio, as the current serviceability ratio of an Indian SU-30 stands at just 58%. Meanwhile, the price of both the MiG-35 and the SU-35 will be far cheaper than the rest contending aircraft, as well as the fact that Russia has remained a strong ally of India, and has a huge equity in the Indian system. The biggest of all factors in their favor is that the production facility of Russian aircraft is already available in India, as Hindustan Aeronautics currently manufactures the Su-30. As far as the Eurofighter Typhoon is concerned, the biggest factor that goes against the aircraft, is the multinational nature of its ownership, and the experts consider it as problematic. According to latest reports, the long-awaited discussion on the procurement of 93,895 carbine deal worth $553 million did not take place at the recently concluded Defense Acquisition Council meeting, as the matter was removed from discussion. The deal was not discussed even though it has been put on fast-track procurement process, as the Oversight Committee has failed to submit their report. The UAE-based manufacturer Caracal was declared the L1 vendor, and it has reached out to the Ministry of Defense after other bidders had complained about the UAE-based company. According to officials, Caracal has offered to make these carbines in India under the government's Make in India initiative, and is already in discussions with Bharat Forge. The oversight committee had asked Caracal to give further rebate during commercial negotiations, and the company has brought down its price by one more percent. There is a total requirement of around 6 to 7 lakh carbines by the Indian Army, and according to sources, the DRDO and Ordnance Factory have been carrying out improvements on their indigenous Excalibur rifle. After the Indian Air Forces recently conducted Balakot operations, Pakistan has decided to deploy the Chinese LY-80 medium-range surface-to-air systems for the air defense of its military bases. The Chinese air defense system has a firing range of 40 kilometers, and it comprises of a 3D target search radar system with a tracking range of 150 kilometers. Pakistan has a total of five such systems, which were inducted in 2017. Pakistan has also decided to procure long-range CH-4 and CH-5 UAVs from China, which have an endurance of over 40 hours, and an operating range of 5,000 kilometers. According to latest reports, Japan is developing a long-range air-launched anti-ship cruise system, and the Japanese defense minister has cited that it is meant to counter the long-range air defenses on ships belonging to some countries. As per latest reports, the Chinese Navy is deploying long-range anti-aircraft systems on its vessels. Japan plans to extend the range of its supersonic ASM-3 systems to over 400 kilometers, which currently has a range of less than 200 kilometers. 
The F-2 aircraft are expected to retire in the 2030s, and Japan is considering to equip their F-3 stealth fighter jets with the long-range missiles. Oh, my God.